Um, you know, we, we didn't get knocked out today. We got knocked out against Switzerland, I think. I think um, the the way we played in the first two games uh, is not, not a true reflection of what we are. I thought in this, the game tonight, I thought we were excellent. We created chances, 1v1s with the goalkeepers. We hit the crossbar twice. We scored two goals. We could have had more. Um, we, we, we played really, really well. Um, and of course, you know, like you say, when you, when you lose to a wonder strike, which you'll never do that again, um, in between two of our brave blockers, it's gone through the eye of a needle almost and gone straight into the top corner. So, you know, when it's going for you, it's going for you. And when it's not, you certainly uh, feel it. Hindsight is a wonderful thing in football. If you'd have started with this team in the first game, might it have been different? Well, well, we'll never know that. I mean, we had a lot of um, first choice players uh, out injured tonight. Um, and sometimes because football is a strange old game, the lads that have been patiently waiting and working hard on the sidelines step on and, and do a really good job. So I thought we played really well tonight. I was, um, I, I was, I was proud of the performance and obviously as disappointed as, as, as the players are. But, you, you know, they'll, they'll learn from this. Um, uh, because when you have any, uh, a situation like this where you lose in the last minutes of a game in a tournament, it, it hurts. And it's a lesson, really, in, in coming into the tournament um, and, and just making sure after a period of ref re reflection, we find out you know, why things didn't work so well in the first and the second game. Finally, your period of reflection starts tonight. Your contract, as we know, is up in the summer without wishing to labour a point we've been labouring for the last few days. Um, any, any closer to knowing or deciding what your future might be? Well, I'll carry on supporting Gareth uh, as long as uh, as he needs me and I'll carry on working with the development teams, the younger teams, getting players through. Um, and tonight was, you know, similar to the last time you and I spoke at a tournament where we had some devastated young players. But through that, Henderson, uh, Madison, Tamori, these, the Dominic Calvert-Lewin, uh, Tommy Abrahams, you know, there's there's a there's a lot of good players um, that have that have come through from the last experience of a of a tournament at European level, um, and there'll be players that come through this um, group of players too, um, and that is what we're we're here to do. Thanks, Eddie. Take care. Mate. Thank you. Thanks, Ian. We'll go to Alec Howe at the BBC, please. Hi, Eddie. Um, England, after the result, England uh, finished bottom of the group. Do you think that's a harsh position? Um, no, I don't, because I, I think it would be a harsh position on tonight. But those are the, the margins, you know. We we don't concede that goal, and we and we go through. Um, but we've we've got a bit of uh, um, reflection to do, I think, uh, particularly for the first couple of games. Um, it was a do or die effort tonight. It was brilliant in many aspects uh, and bitterly disappointing. But football's a cruel game, and you know we we, we certainly, well, the young players certainly will uh, will benefit in the long term. But at the moment, you know that sounds like a ridiculous thing to say. And the the goal that's put England out. I could hear you on the TV screaming, "Get out to the ball!" Do you think the players got to the ball quick enough, or could have done a bit more? Well, they actually got right up to the ball. Um, Skip and uh, Skippy and Jafet got right up to the ball. The ball's actually gone between them and dipped and gone straight in the top corner. So, you know, it, it is a, a, a worldy strike. It doesn't even win the game, but obviously we needed that goal and we've done ever so well to get it to the point where um, we were tuning it up. And just on the development of the players, you mentioned the chances there. Does that just show how important it is taking your chances at this level and especially in tournament football? It absolutely is. The higher you go, the, the, the more your errors, your unforced errors get um, exploited uh, and the more chances you get. If it takes you 10, 10 shots to score a goal, then you know, you've, you've got to have a better ratio than that. You've got to be able to, when you, you get a chance, you take it. Um, but that, and that's what happens at the very top level. And this is the stage down from that. So, um, yeah, as you can imagine, we're all very, very disappointed. Um, but players will come out of it uh, and we'll, we'll keep, keep trucking on, really. Thanks, Alex. We'll go to JD Dyer. 
Uh, AD, I know we've spoken a lot over the last uh, couple of weeks or so, but uh, it's just a final one for myself. Um, in regards to the red card after the game uh, with Curtis Jones, did you see what happened there? And has Curtis explained to you in terms of what uh, caused that incident? Well, I, th I think it, I think what happened, mate, was there was a, a team that was jumping around, all the staff were on the pitch and celebrating and in between one or two of our boys. And I think it just got a bit fraught and emotions got a little bit high. Um, I've got to get to the bottom of, of the card. I've been un unable to speak to the referee yet, um, but I'll, I'll find out uh, what went on there. But I, I, think, I think it's just one of those highly emotive situations where sometimes difficult things can happen and thankfully both sets of staff sorted it out. Thank you, thank you, AD. Thanks, JD. We'll go to the UK written writers under embargo for 22.30 tonight, UK time.